Well, it is that time of year when you start seeing Snowbird right here on Channel 4. Today, we are talking to the makers of Snowbird to get a little history on our favorite feathery friend. Take a look. Who are those guys? Then after the plans for the Snowbird Report. If this report doesn't get through... Retirement South will be thrown into chaos. For more than 25 years, this lovable penguin has been part of the Channel 4 family. Snowbird originated as a uh, cardboard cutout on the um, weather set WSMV, and whenever it would snow, uh, the booth announcer would go, No school, no school! That's how Snowbird first became somewhat of a hero for school kids here in the mid state. I run into grown ups now who tell me, I used to hear that little song doo, 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 and come running to the television set because I knew no school tomorrow. But the year was 1983 when Snowbird literally got a life. Myself, uh, David Prevett, Steve Pennington, our partners at that time, uh, saw that and thought that would make a really great promotion. So the guys built a puppet character, carried it down to WSMV, and uh, the rest, as they say, is history. History is right. Snowbird has some of the hottest merchandise on the market. Viewers still call in to Channel 4 to win the latest in the Snowbird collectibles each year. And some of those items can be found on the Internet, priced at hundreds of dollars. The first ones we did were the Snowbird plush toys. And I can still recall the station's amazement when they went through 5,000 of them between Thanksgiving and Christmas. Uh, since then, I mean, the list is endless. Uh, the... Uh, um, cookie jars, the slippers. His look hasn't changed much over the years. His tongue was originally blue, but technology made it disappear when maps were programmed to pop up over any blue colors at the weather wall. So now he has a nice red tongue. His message has always been about the same, too. There was the word from Snowbird PSA. It's a series of, oh gosh, I think in the end, about 72 public service announcements dealing with children's issues. Um, we had uh, specials. There were two Christmas specials. There was an Olympic special. Uh, and there was the Believe in Yourself special, which was a uh, sort of a positive self-image kind of thing. Under the direction of Channel 4 producer David Van Hooser, Snowbird's DVDs and specials quickly racked up awards, which led to the Bigger Than Life mascot in 1986. And that's taken a lot of load off the uh, weather staff and given them a, a, a little extra go-to there when they're going out and doing kids' entertainment things to where Snowbird can be the entertainment guy, he can be the serious weather guy. Every now and then, the weather team joins in on some of the fun with Snowbird and his sidekick, Myron the Weather Rat, for some entertaining commercials. Uh, we're here live at the premiere of the Snowbird Report, and, uh, uh, oh, Snowbird, Lisa, yeah. can you give your fans the inside scoop? This year's theme is all about coming attractions, and every one of them is set up like a movie preview for a different genre, and I think you'll hear a lot of lines in there from various movies, some of them slightly twisted, but recognizable nonetheless. You know, winter weather is like a box of chocolates. Recognizable would be an understatement when it comes to Snowbird. Just like Santa Claus, the weather penguin is everywhere. There's this narrow swath of the country right north and south of the Mason-Dixon line where when it snows, it leads the newscast. It's a big deal. And uh, those markets have been very amenable to the snowbird character. So we'll fly their weather people in here and the guys will all sit around on the couch and laugh at each other as they go through the spots. And we can do about five of them a day and crank out the spots. And basically, everyone thinks that Snowbird lives in their hometown. But he's really from Nashville. And for all of the weather guys across the country asking the same question on snow days, does Snowbird fly? The answer is... Snowbird flies generally first class. He likes an aisle seat. 